Good morning, Brave Awake Ones. Lady V here. Um, and yes, I'm wearing glasses because it's 3 o'clock in the morning and my eyes have been going absolutely berserk, just tearing like crazy. Okay, so I'm here because uh, I want to read to you, yes, a Bible verse. Here we go. Because of uh, what I experienced at 1.30 this morning. And this is Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics, Medical Impact Intuitive, Holistic Integrative Health Nurse, uh, Spiritual Counselor and Guide, and um, Energy Healer Working Master. If you want more of my creds and more information about my services, webinars, and private sessions, you can go to higherrealmholistics.com. Now back to this. Had a heck of experience 1.30 this morning. And Yogi Mama, I thank you for confirming this for me because I wasn't too sure if I was going to share this in a video or not. Because I was like, wow, this is really intense in private. And I don't know how folks feel about this, but you know what? It is what it is. And I'm putting it out there because it's real and it's intense. And we're at that point where, you know, we have to put on, put on that armor. It's time to put on that armor. I've been having on my armor. But I, I'd pick up that sword with my sisters over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We did two prayer sessions yesterday on Sunday, the, the 4th of November, and a prayer session on Saturday. And it was to protect our boys because we felt that uh, the boys felt, we know, we know, the boys in our family are under attack. And they were three years ago, and the girls were under attack five years ago. See the lights are flashing in my house. You see that? Yeah, they're angry. They don't want me to make this video, the the dark energies. And they came at me at 1.30 this morning through my phone. I heard that voice come through my phone dark and deep because they can't harm me physically. Because um, they can't attack me. They have attacked me in the past. Since I was a child, they've come after me. You see that? You see? <laughs> yeah, but I'm surrounded. I'm protected. All right, I called Archangel Michael above me, below me, before me, behind me, all around me. And the love of light surrounds me. Not only that, I have my um, black obsidian here that I wear, which acts as a great reflector of that dark energy coming at you. I was guided to have my black obsidian on me. Um, the obsidian power energy came over me uh, a few days ago, actually on the 1st of November, and was like, you're going to need this. Put me around you, have me around you, surround you. And I had that, it always, my protection always comes in a pyramid form, so I had the black obsidian, obsidian pyramid form around me, and I expanded it out to my loved ones, and I expanded it out to whoever calls upon it. So you need that extra protection call on the black obsidian energy, okay? So like I said, I'm going to read this verse. And I'm going to tell you guys what happened. Okay. Uh, it is Ephesians 6.12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's exactly what is going on that is what has been going on and and we should also add um the dark powers of this world too because that is where they are you know the principalities 3d 4d they're keeping it uh the human soul chained down to 3d hell as i call it <laughs> to me 3d is hell and they're in 4d okay um and we're rising up and they want to keep us down. So they want to, you know, pump in fear to keep you down. Okay. And they, um, attack the weak and the weak includes those who don't see them for what they're for. Even though, like I said, my son is an earth angel, but you could be an earth angel light worker and be steeped in this darkness because you go through the veil of forgetfulness okay and it's about remembering and the more you try to remember the more they try to come at come at you try to scare you back into submission okay and um 
I did make a video out there how to deal with these dark principalities and I put a prayer out there and I'd like to add after my session um, I'm doing a webinar on the 7th and many of you have signed up so it's so cool I'm doing a webinar on the 7th and a webinar on the 11th so 11 11 11 because 2018 adds up to 11 and after the webinars Webinars are only an hour, so those who want to hang out after the webinar, I'd love to say this prayer with you so we could like put out that energy really strong around us, around our loved ones, and spread it throughout the earth, putting on the armor of God, okay? <clears throat> so if you want to go back and review that, that video about dealing with the darkness, um, and I will have the prayer with me and I will send it out. Well, I'll post it up. I'll try to pull up that video. So we pull up, pull up the prayer so we could actually say it together. Because, you know, when two or more come together, you know, we multiply that energy. That two becomes a hundred, becomes two hundred. So we're going to multiply this energy. And when it comes to what happened to me at 1.30 this morning... I was taken in that in-between place and then I saw my phone glowing because I know you're not supposed to fall asleep with your phone next to you, but I did. <laughs> I was listening to some stuff and I fell asleep next to me. Next thing I know, my phone was glowing and I was in that in-between place. I was, I was very much in 4D and I told you I'm oscillating between five, lower 5D and 4D and this being, they can't go, they can't hit 5D. Right? They cannot hit 5D. So I was in, I was right there and I felt my energy in between there when it was trying to pull me down. And it was a very deep, 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 dark voice. And, and you know, you're hearing the, the rings in your ears, the ringing in your head, that's very high pitch. So it's very low pitch. It's like, and that's how I knew it was a low, dark energy. And it said, I will not let you pass. I will not let you pass. And I was like, it's too late. I said, with the power of, of Jesus Christ, of Yeshua, I have passed. I said, you have no power here. And I bathe you in love. And you either you convert to love or you go back from which you came. And I felt that pressure. It was trying so hard to get into me, but it couldn't. And I said, I have the armor of love around me. And I just started praying. I called in Jesus. I called in the Holy Family. I called in Archangel Michael. I poured in Lakshmi's golden light and bam, I was back in my room again. So we're still battling these principalities and they're very much real. They're very much real. When before I uh, hit this stage for years, you know, I saw them in my room. They'd walk around, talk about, you know, those um, dark figures and everything like that. My kids would come screaming and running and and yeah, because you're very much in 4D. You're where they live. So they're, you know, you're there. So you're going to see them. It's not about, oh, you're just reflecting your darkness. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Okay, you're not just reflecting the dark in you. Bullshit. Okay? If you're in 3D, you're going, you know... You're going to see 3D beings. If you're in 4D, you're going to see 4D beings. They simply live there. That's all it is. They live there. It is what it is. It's not about reflecting the darkness in you. No, they live there. Okay? That's why when you're vibrating higher, you see higher vibrating beings. Are they a reflection also? They live there. <clears throat> you see whatever lives there. Okay? And are they, are there good spirits in 4D? Of course they are. You see them too. You deal with them too. You interact with them too. It's interaction. Okay? It's all about interaction. Now the way I view things, I view the dark as a way for us to push through the, to get to the light. You know, you can't get to the, you can't be formed without going through the fire. That's the way I feel, feel about it. You have to go through the fire in order to get to the other side. So the, it's all God. It's all one to me. I don't see a separation. You know, when people say, oh, you know, um, oh, God wouldn't want that. It is God. God formed them. It is. It's all God. I, I don't see a difference. I can't even. I never did because it, nothing else makes sense to me. 
if it, if I don't resonate with you, then I simply don't resonate with you. It is what it is. But I just don't see the separation. And I see it as a way. This is, you have to pass through this darkness. You have to pass through the fire in order to get to the light. Taking these things off because I don't need them anymore. <laughs> okay. So you have to pass through the fire in order to get to the light. Okay. The way, um, the diamond is form is through immense pressure for a very long time. Okay. And, uh, think about, like they say, the potter's wheel, you know, the molding of the clay. Think of 3D, 4D as that molding and then being put in that fire, that cauldron in order to come out as, as a beautiful piece of uh, glass or china, whatever you have to go through it. And that's what it's all about as much as it sucks. And like I said, I have no intentions whatsoever of going through this shit again. And I've always said, I'm taking as many up with me as I can. And the dark is here to make sure you can't because only, only the brave can survive. Only those who want to go through it, who are willing to go through that fire are going to make it. Okay. And it's us up to us. We're awakened to put on our armor and break through that brush, sherpa the way for the rest to find their way, you know, to help the others unawaken and um, put that cloak over them to get them over. Okay. So don't forget, um, check out my website uh, at hiramholistics.com for my webinars and for private sessions and whoever wants to stick around after the webinar so we could Pray for your loved ones, pray for my loved ones, pray for the world, pray for all those who need to be awakened and need extra protection, including yourself, to um, put on that protection, to call call on the company of heaven to come help us, okay? Much love, peace, victory to the light. We got this, people. Lady B, out.